We don't know a whole lot about what to expect from the Charbonneau Commission's final report, but we do know two things for sure. First is that it's finally coming. After four years and over $40 million of taxpayers' money spent, the report is expected to be tabled in the coming days, and the public should have its first glance at what it contains. The second thing we know for sure is that it's going to be quite sizable. We're anticipating hundreds of pages long. The Commission's mandate was very broad, very extensive, and as I said, it took four years to reach this point. So the document is going to have to be fairly comprehensive, and Quebecers are going to be expecting something quite substantial. This commission was supposed to have lasted about 18 months. Instead, it ballooned to over four years long. And so we've reached the point now where it's going to be tough to come up with recommendations. This is going to be one of the biggest challenges for the inquiry. When the inquiry began in 2011, there were still a lot of things that Quebec could work on and improve upon, both in terms of legislation and regulation. Some of those changes have now been implemented. So again, the challenge for the Charbonneau Commission is going to be coming up with fresh ideas that are going to move Quebec into a future where corruption and collusion are not so much of a problem in our construction industry. There are a couple of things that I'm going to be looking for in this final report in terms of its recommendations. The first has to do with whistleblowers. Whistleblowers in Quebec still aren't afforded all of the protections that perhaps they should be, and I think that the Charbonneau Commission will probably recommend a new law, similar to ones in other provinces, that protect and defend people who decide to come forward, anonymously or publicly, to report wrongdoing. Something else the Commission might tackle is staffing. This was something that came up over and over again in the Charbonneau Commission's hearings. This idea that, particularly at Transport Quebec, there aren't enough experienced engineers and public servants doing the work that should be done. Instead, things are getting outsourced to private companies, and unfortunately, that opens contracts up to all forms of collusion. So the Charbonneau Commission may recommend new hiring programs, uh, an increase in salaries, which will be difficult to swallow in a time of austerity. The final thing I'm hoping to see with the release of this report is the commissioners themselves speaking publicly for the first time. France Charbonneau and her co-commissioner Renaud Lachance have been chairing this inquiry for four years now, and yet they've never given an interview, they've never spoken publicly about their roles. With the release of this report, this is an, a good opportunity for them to come forward, answer questions, speak to the media, and thereby the public about the work that they've done and what they hope to see moving forward.